What's going on YouTube? So the American pickup truck industry has seen a lot of changes over the last few years, starting with the reintroduction of the compact truck segment. Honda knows with many new options, they can't rest on their laurels. And that's why we're in Los Angeles today, checking out the all new 2024 Honda Ridgeline Trail Sport. Promising serious off-road capability, updated technology, and this new trim level, is this the tough and reliable truck for you? That's what we're here to find out. Now for 2024, you're out of luck if you love Wheel of Fortune and really wanted the RSTLNE trim level because that is now this trail sport. So in all seriousness, the RTLE trim level has now been replaced with this all new tough and rugged trail sport trim level. Now the other trim levels are going to remain the same, ending in that top end black edition model. Now let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to have up here in the front for the Ridgeline Trail Sport. So up here in this area, you're going to notice a very similar grille to the 2023 version, but we do have some Trail Sport special elements. Uh, it's finished in the, that nice pewter gray color. We also have Trail Sport branding here in the uh, grill itself. And then if we drop down to this lower area, this is where we're going to see uh, some more pewter gray accents, which is kind of Honda's Trail Sport uh, design theme. And while we're down here, I do want to talk about your ground clearance because this is an off-road capable truck. We're still sitting at 7.6 inches of ground clearance. And one of the really nice things that Honda has included for this Trail Sport model is a steel skid plate down here at the bottom. So that's going to protect your oil pan in any type of off-roading situation. Once again, adding to that uh, off-road capability of this model. Now up here at the top, we do have this gloss black piece that goes into your headlights. The headlights are going to remain unchanged changed for 2024. So we do have uh, the LED projector low beam. We have a halogen high beam, and that's going to be on all trim levels of this. And then as we drop down to the lower area, you will find an incandescent turn signal as well as an LED fog light. Now, before we go any further, you're probably noticing this really cool paint color. This is called Diffuse Sky Pearl, and we first saw this on the 2023 Honda Pilot Trail Sport, and that is going to make its way to the Ridgeline. But do keep in mind, this color is exclusive to the Trail Sport trim level. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the wheels, because this is also an area where Honda has updated for 2024. So as you can see, this Trail Sport has an all new wheel finish. This is also gonna be in that pewter gray color. I really like the design. It's a five spoke, 18 inch alloy. Um, Honda also says that the other trim levels are going to get new wheel designs, a lot of which look like this, but just with different finishes. Some will be uh, fully black for the black edition, as well as have a contrast finish. Now, if you choose a Trail Sport trim level, this is where you're gonna get another really cool off-roading feature. You're gonna have grabber all-terrain tires to really get you out in and out of any off-road situation and Honda has done some special suspension tuning for this Trail Sport model to make it more off-road capable. Now up here at the top, we do have a gloss black finish for our mirrors. We're gonna have a lot of different functionalities, including blind spot monitoring. And one of the new features for 2024 is this is gonna be a power folding mirror, and that's gonna be on the Trail Sport and Black Edition models. Now here at the side, not a lot is going to change in terms of the overall design. It's still coming in at 210 inches long. And if you're curious as to how it compares to some of those compact trucks that I was mentioning in the introduction, it's about 10 inches longer on average. Now you will notice this is a unibody truck, so we're going to have kind of a fake crack uh, through here because this is not an actual body on frame truck design. And then heading around to the rear, we're going to have some updates for 2024. You're probably seeing it right now, though, because it's a pretty obvious update. Honda has added Ridgeline branding here stamped into the tailgate. So we see that in a lot of trucks, and I really like the way it looks here in person for this Ridgeline model because it just gives it an overall tougher design for 2024. Now, we're also going to have some Trail Sport branding here on the side, and our taillights are going to remain unchanged this year. So we're going to have an LED accented taillight with brake light. We have an incandescent reverse light and incandescent turn signal. And then dropping down to this lower area, it's going to be a very beefy uh, matte plastic here. We're also going to have exposed exhaust outlets, which I really like. 
Your tow rating is going to remain the same at 5,000 pounds. Now this is a truck after all, so let's go ahead and check out the features in the bed. Now the Ridgeline has always had a really cool uh, bed, and that's going to continue for 2024. So you can just open it like a normal truck bed, but it does also have the really cool feature of allowing you to side release the tailgate. So you have that additional functionality depending on what your needs are. I really like that Honda is including that and you're not going to find that really on any midsize or compact pickup truck. Now as far as the bed itself is concerned, we do still have uh, a solid bed for this Ridgeline. We're going to have a standard bed liner which I really like. Not done yet when it comes to the features though because we do have this right here. This is a 7.3 cubic feet area underneath of the bed itself. This is watertight, so you can actually fill this with ice and uh, store your drinks for ultimate tailgating needs. Really love this feature. You're also going to find your spare tire integrated underneath of there. Now regarding your safety systems, Honda was already including all four of your active safety features as standard equipment. That's going to continue for the 2024 refreshed Ridgeline model. And there are quite a few interior enhancements on the inside when it comes to tech as well as usability. So let's go ahead and check that out. But before... If you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. So let's go ahead and check out the refreshed interior for this Ridgeline model because there's more updates in here than you would think. So just going ahead and opening up the door, let's take a look inside. So inside this Trail Sport, you're going to of course notice that we do have some special Trail Sport elements going on. Um, that would namely be your orange stitching going on on the seats as well as the really nice embroidered trail sport headrest. But I do want to also mention uh, for some of the other trim levels, you're going to have a leather seat on all of the models besides for the very base sport model that will get a cloth seat. And then down here at the seat itself, it is going to be 10 way power adjusting. We do also have two way lumbar support as well as two person memory seats. But arguably the bigger changes are when it comes to the tech. So let's go ahead and get inside and check those out. And getting inside the Ridgeline's interior, uh, you're once again going to be greeted with just a very nice cab, and I've always really loved that about this truck, is that it kind of feels like a pilot inside, which is definitely a good thing. Let's talk about overall materials. So we do have nice leather on the armrest portion. We're going to have a soft-touch plastic on the upper part. We also have a special trim for the Trail Sport model right through here. As far as the upper dashboard, this is all going to be a padded plastic. We do also have a nice little stitching detail going through there. We have some more of that uh, trim piecing going through the uh, middle part as well as this area. Now you do have standard push button start and that's going to allow us to take a look at one of those big 2024 changes and that's going to be this new gauge cluster. So if you remember the previous model just had a multi-function display it looked a little bit dated and Honda is remedying that for 2024. So we have a 7 inch digital cluster here on the left side. This part right here is going to be a physical analog gauge cluster but we do have the digital component tree here on the left side. That's standard equipment on every single Ridgeline model for 2024. 24. This is a very similar setup to what you'll see in like a Honda Accord and Honda Civic. Now coming back to the steering wheel itself, we do have a really nice one. It's going to be a leather wrapped finish. We also have some nice perforations here where your hands are going to grab and we do have that special orange stitching for the Trail Sport model. Here on the Trail Sport, you're also going to have steering wheel heating as well and it's going to be manual tilt and telescoping. But we're not done yet with 2024 changes inside this cabin because you're probably noticing this area right here. And if you've had a Ridgeline before, you will remember it had kind of those minivan style folding armrests, which they definitely are very comfortable, but uh, it doesn't look quite as good as this. And also it doesn't give you as much practicality as this. So when we open this up, look at this. 
we have a gigantic center console. As you can see, it's super deep. My whole arm can fit in there. And we look forward to testing this back out at home extensively where we can give you that full donut test because I'm sure it's going to pass the dozen. Now, up in front of that, we do have two cup holders. Uh, this, is, of course, is a rearranged design for 2024. And you're also going to have a new wireless phone charging pad area right up here in the front. Uh, this is a very large wireless phone charging pad. So, yes, it can accommodate your largest iPhone. You can also put another phone next to it. It's just going to be one wireless phone charging pad, though. Keep that in mind. We have a USB-A, USB-C, as well as a 12-volt outlet. And then coming back here, you will notice that we, we will retain the electronic style shifter that the Ridgeline has had before. Um, of course, we're inside of a studio right now, so I can't start it up and go through the gears and all that. Uh, but nothing really changes in this department. You're going to have a standard backup camera. No 360 is available. And I do also want to mention you will get parking sensors on your higher end trim levels. Now coming up, you will notice that we have three stage heated seats. That's going to be standard on your RTL trim levels and above. And then moving on to our climate controls, uh, the Ridgeline has always had a really nice climate control system. Um, it's going to be three zone automatic on all of the models, which is a very nice feature. Uh, you do have just your temperature adjustment right through there and you can adjust the rear independent from the front. Now, I don't have my phone paired for the audio system, but I do want to mention that you have a standard audio system available. You also have an eight speaker, 540 watt audio system that will be available on your higher end models for 2024. Now, this area is probably also a place that you're seeing some changes if you have a current ridge line. And that's because Honda has upped the tech through and through for this refreshed 2024 model. This is going to be a 9-inch infotainment uh, display. Um, this is going to be running the latest software, and that does also mean that we're going to have wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So really cool tech upgrades for this 2024 model. Uh, it's pretty much bringing it in line with what you're going to get on the Honda Pilot and its fully loaded trim level, so I'm definitely happy to see that. Now, as we move up, we do have an auto dimming interior mirror. And as far as the moonroof, that is going to be standard on the RTL trim level and above. Now, as far as the rear area is concerned, it's once again going to be a nice place to spend time. No changes back here for 2024. So you're still going to have 36.7 inches of legroom, a little over 38 inches of headroom, which does mean you have more space than the Toyota Tacoma. And it's just a very comfortable place to spend time. This vehicle reminds me of a Honda Pilot, and that's a good thing because it's a very comfortable vehicle. Now here in the center, we do have vents. Um, you don't have your own climate controls back here, so you will have to adjust uh, the temperature for the rear up in the front. And then we do have a 12 volt outlet underneath of that. We have a nice fold down armrest that's very wide with two cup holders inside. And as far as your door trim is concerned, once again, very practical. It's going to be hard touch material wise, but we do have a nice cup holder in front of that and then um, no storage underneath. And it's okay that the door doesn't have any storage because guess what? You have a lot of space up underneath the seat. I'm going to kind of get out of the way and allow Josh to come in and show you that this seat is actually kind of floating, which is really quite cool. So you can stick a lot of things up underneath of the seat itself. And if you really need the additional space, you can pull this handle and that's going to allow the seat to get up and out of the way for all, for all of your truck needs. Now truck buyers rejoice because we see it in the comments all the time. A lot of you guys do not want a four cylinder truck and thankfully Honda is not changing anything in the powertrain department for 2024. That means you're going to still have the 3.5 liter V6 naturally aspirated 280 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque. You're also going to keep the same nine speed automatic transmission. Additionally, uh, as far as your fuel economy is concerned, it's going to be coming in at 21 miles a gallon combined. So pretty good fuel economy for a V6 in this truck segment. Now this Trail Sport model does have a few beefed up elements uh, under the hood to make the overall experience a little bit better. They've also uh, retuned some of the drive modes to make sure that you have all that off-road capability. And we do look forward to testing that out a little bit later this year when this vehicle goes on sale, which by the way is supposed to be winter of this year. So not too much longer if you want to wait for a 2024 Honda Ridgeline. And lastly, let's talk pricing for this 2024 model. Um, 
There is no official pricing information just yet from Honda, but I do want to just go ahead and show you the 2023 prices for your reference. The Sport starts at 38800 The RTL was 41780 The Trail Sport, we're not exactly sure how that's going to fit into the lineup in terms of the pricing, but the Black Edition topped out at $46,230 last year, and I don't expect a massive price increase. And if you're looking to buy a Honda Ridge line, the next place you should go to is carconfections.com slash new car quotes. Now on there, we have a tool that will connect you to local dealers in your area to get you the best price on your new Ridge line. If you're interested in taking advantage of that offer, a link is provided in the video description. And guys, that's where we're going to leave off on this studio in-depth first look review of the 2024 refreshed Honda Ridgeline Trail Sport. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, you help get us invited to events like this where we can sample out the latest cars in the market so you can see what changes are going to be happening over the next few months and years. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.